What is up guys and girls, my name is Weddy H, welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies video. Today I'm going to be talking about the Edward Richthofen video that was released by Treyarch, but it's actually been a day since it's come out, so you guys know that I've actually been diving into this a bit more. I have details, theories, and so much exciting pieces of evidence that I'd like to dive into. It's rather basic, but actually it leads on to very, very coincidental events, and I think actually this has a massive play and a massive part into interlinking these two videos or maps and the storyline together. So, there is two main points I would like to talk about in this video, because something that I don't like doing is throwing you guys too much information because when I do that it starts to get rather complicated. So I'm going to keep it simple and I'm going to keep it straight to the point. There's two things I want to talk about. One is where Richtofen says long, long ago I made a promise. The second bit is where he then finishes off by saying it doesn't matter at this time what I've done because soon it will all be gone. Now long ago I made a promise, that's what he says. Long ago, I made a promise, a vow, to protect him. In order to keep my word, I have done bad things. Very bad things. I do not regret the pains that I have caused, because none of it really matters. This moment, this me. He says that he made a vow, and what does he actually mean by this? Well, let's go to Zetsubo no Shima, let's play one of the radios from Dr. Maxis. Take a listen to this. You swore a promise to me, Edward. It may have been a long time ago, but I am sure you will not have forgotten. You swore to follow my instructions, to comply with my every order. You swore to enact whatever plan I conveyed to you, all in the hope that we could overcome the chaos that we ourselves have created. You have kept your word. However much it pains my heart, I owe it to you to confess. I'm sorry, Edvard. I have withheld certain truths from you. As you can hear from that radio, Dr. Maxis was talking about how Edward swore to keep promises and follow his orders, but he then signs off by saying that he actually regrets to inform Edward, and it pains him that actually he hasn't been telling him everything he needs to know. He hasn't been telling him the exact truth. And Richthofen is kind of in this situation because he explains in the video that to keep these promises, he's done bad things very bad things. But he then leads on to say, it doesn't matter at this time, because soon, it will all be gone. What does he mean by soon, it will all be gone? It then leads into the sequence in the video of Darice, the giant, going up in flames. So, where does this tie in? Why would Darice be going up in flames? Well, let's go to a radio in Darice. Let's go to a radio in the giant, more specifically. Edward, or should I say Ludwig Maxis, says these words. He says something along the lines of, Remember what I told you, Edward. The scars left by Samantha's past actions allow us to communicate across the rift. Follow my words. I will find you. When you release the beacon, I will secure your extraction and destroy the site. Remember, the burden is yours to carry, Edward. The others must never know the truth. So from this radio to me, it sounds like the plan anyways was to destroy the giant. He says, when you release the beacon, I will secure your extraction and destroy the site. So what Maxis wants to do is destroy the giant, but in order to do this, he wants to secure Richthofen's safety. So as soon as he's done that, as soon as he's secured Richthofen's safety, the giant is going to be no longer. And that's why in the video, we actually see the giant going up in flames, and that's why the evidence doesn't actually matter how it was before. So super exciting things, that's where it comes in with how um, 
Edward made his promises and that in order to keep these promises he's done bad things but it's not going to matter anyway because it's all going to be destroyed and that's where Maxis then goes on and says that he's going to destroy the giants. So thank you for watching, let me know what you think about this, leave your comments, leave your thoughts in the, in the comment section because it's impossible for you to do it in the description but I'm going to read over these, let me know what you think, do you reckon this is a good theory, do you reckon it ties in, I'll be excited to find out. Thank you for watching, have a fantastic day and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.